Welcome to everyone. Uh, in today's uh, Excel session, we are going to focus on HLOOKUP, VLOOKUP, and things to do with small, large, just where you are applying to get uh, second lowest or second highest and the rest. So for now, we have data given to us here and we are going to simply do some calculations as indicated by this question. So here is a worksheet for Liva's budget, uh, which has been entered already. And now we are going to deal with these few questions. So that we use a function or a formula to calculate total price in each item. So we want to calculate total price here, where we are given quantity and the price. So this is simple as getting equal signs, quantity times the price. If you press enter, for now we can autofill. I've told you the main important uh, area we are looking at in this video is HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP. So after getting that, uh, they need us to calculate uh, average total price. We can do that. So equal signs average. So we can select the total price column. We press enter. Uh, next, we need lowest total price. Equal signs. Uh, we can say mean. We open brackets and highlight the total column, the total price column. We press enter. Alternatively, one can use a formula called small. So here we can say equal signs small. We open brackets, highlight the total price column, comma, we say one, meaning the lowest value. I press enter. It's the same answer there. Then we are told to calculate the second highest total price. So we can say equal signs large. We open brackets and we highlight the total price column, comma. We want second. So you put two as in number second, as in position. So we press enter. That is the second largest total price. So when you look at our column, uh, this is the largest. This is the second largest, and the list continues like that. We need grand total, which is equal signs max, uh, sorry, equal signs sum, we are summing up. We open brackets and highlight the total price column. We press enter. So this is our grand total for total price. Then we need balance that uh, if the levers made a contribution of uh, 1,500,000 as indicated in the worksheet. We use a formula to calculate the balance that remained after all the purchases. So here we can say equal signs get the contribution as indicated in D1 minus the grand total. So if you press enter, this is what remained as the balance after all the purchases. Next, our main concern is to use VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP function to display comments as high price if the item's price is 10,000 and above. Normal price if the item's price is uh, above 5,000 and low price if the item's price is 5,000 and below. So we are going to use HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP. So for now, let's start with uh, VLOOKUP. So here we are going to have our VLOOKUP array table. So in this table, uh, we are going to have two columns. One column will be for price, and another column will be for, say, comment. Now, price, uh, 
uh, we have uh, 0 up to 5,000 and then we have 5,000 up to 10,000 or better. So 10,000 and better is high price. 5,000 and better is normal price. And then uh, 0 to, to 5,000, this is low price. And now we can generate our comments using HLOOKUP. So in here we say equal signs, sorry, we are going to generate comments using VLOOKUP. So we say equal signs VLOOKUP. In brackets, we select the price column, comma. Now we come to our table array of the VLOOKUP. We highlight with this range. So we call it VLOOKUP because the table is arranged vertically. So from here, we put a comma and say two. So we have two columns. One column is for price. The other column is for comment. And we are directing our formula to pick the comments in column two, which has comments. So close the brackets. Now we select our range and we make it absolute by pressing F4 on the keyboard. So when you press F4, your range is now fixed or we'll call it absolute you are able to generate the comments automatically. That is to do with uh, VLOOKUP. And now we can deal with uh, HLOOKUP. So that was our VLOOKUP. So let's look at HLOOKUP. We can have our array table here, HLOOKUP array. So from here, Steve, we can have price. In the next row, we can have comment. So in our first row where we have price, still we have zero to five thousand and then ten thousand. So ten thousand is high price. Uh, 5,000 to 10,000 is normal price, and then here is the low price. So at this point, we are able to generate comments by using HLOOKUP, which is horizontal lookup because our table is arranged horizontally. So we can remove these comments. We say equal signs HLOOKUP. We select our cell under price, comma. Come and select the values in your table array, like that. Put a comma. So we have row one, which has price. And we also have row two, which has comment. So we can select. I mean, we can write row two, we close brackets. We have to make this range absolute by pressing F4 on your keyboard, and then you press enter. So you have comments generated with HLOOKUP automatically like that. So we can as well put cells in our table like that. So we have HLOOKUP table, and we also have VLOOKUP table. So that's how we have summarized VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP in Microsoft Excel. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, share and comment. Jabres.